So once we discover that Western medicine really doesn't understand the link between food and health or disease, we have to look elsewhere. And unfortunately, one of the places a lot of people are looking is the world of functional medicine. So let's take a quick look at the science behind the most famous proponent of functional medicine, Dr. Mark Hyman. So here's his homepage. And if it's your first visit to the site, after a couple of seconds, this pop-up comes on. Eat fat and get thin. Learn how in this Q&A video. So clearly Dr. Hyman thinks that eating fat will help you get thin. So let's do a little poking around and see what his evidence is. Let's do a search for fat. Let's scroll down until we find an article that tells us that eating fat doesn't make us fat. Here we go. Why fat doesn't make you fat. So when you click on that link, you get to this article here. You can watch his video or you can read it. So let's let's read it and let's see if we can find evidence to support his claim. So here he says eating fat helps you burn more calories. Here's the first link. So what does he say the link says? Kevin Hall studies mathematical systems and biology. He found when you measured every ounce of food, every movement, every breath, and every calorie burned, you find that those who ate more fat compared to an identical amount of carbs burned over 100 more calories a day. Over a year, that amounts to a, about a 10-pound weight loss from doing no more exercise. Okay, so there's the claim. That's a really powerful claim. If we eat 100 calories of fat as opposed to 100 calories of carbs, we'll lose 10 pounds a year. Let's click the link, shall we? We get to the NIH, National Institutes of Health.gov study, and, uh-oh, what does the headline say? NIH study finds cutting dietary fat reduces body fat more than cutting carbs. There must be a mistake. Let's go back to the article. Those who ate more fat burned over 100 more calories a day, which he says amounts to weight loss. But the article says cutting dietary fat reduces body fat. So what's going on here? So in a recent study, restricting dietary fat led to body fat loss at a rate 68% higher than cutting the same number of carbohydrate calories when adults with obesity ate strictly controlled diets. So there, the very first link on the first article we look at completely contradicts what Dr. Hyman says. So did he not read the article? Well, just to be on the safe side, now this is a news release. So let's click here and go to the actual study. And look at the headline. Calorie for calorie, dietary fat restriction results in more body fat loss than carbohydrate restriction in people with obesity. So I guess the question I'm asking is this. If the very first link I follow from Dr. Hyman's site completely contradicts the point he's trying to make, how much should I listen to him in general? Is he evidence-based? Is he science-based? Does he understand science? Or is he putting together the theories that he likes and then looking for references that he thinks people are going to be too lazy to go look at to justify his points? So the people look at his stuff and then they look at other stuff and they say, well, Everyone's got a different opinion, so I'll just do what I want.